please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I hope you enjoy. Get very close to that fire. You've got to take places aboard that ship. condition. 
that the bandages are not to be removed until I say so. That suits me. Uh, they're sending a car for you at 3 o'clock. I'll leave word at the desk to have you ready. Doctor, could I see you alone in your office for a few minutes? Why, yes, of course. I'll uh, be in my office. I'll see you there in about 10 minutes. Miss Jennings, there will be a car here for Mr. Coulter at 3 o'clock. Please see that he's ready. Yes, Doctor. That's the patient in 404? Right. Take Coulter out of here at 3 o'clock. Stand by and keep watch. Report immediately if there is any change in the time. So they're taking Coulter home at 3 o'clock. They're calling for him at 3 o'clock, but they'll never take him home. Coulter carries the mark of the spider, and no man has ever borne that mark Live. That is very true, but... There must be no exception. Gordon is right, Moloch. It will serve as a warning to Dick Tracy that the spider never sleeps. Very true, only it is too bad that we must abandon our plan to have him make the counterfeit plates. Coulter is such an expert engraver. But he has already refused. And that is also very true, my dear Gordon. But I recall a surgical case wherein a man's nature and his mind were completely changed by a simple little operation. I seem to have a vague recollection of hearing or reading such a case. The operation was on the brain. Uh, there is nothing strange about that. Such cases have always received considerable publicity. You undoubtedly read of it in the newspaper. Then you believe such an operation would bend Coulter to our will? I know it would. Then it shall be done. There is just time to countermand my previous plan and make new arrangements. But at three o'clock, Coulter will be here. Unthinkable idea ever heard. I won't allow it. As a matter of fact, I positively forbid it. But you can't forbid it, Clive. It's our one sure chance to trap the spider. Good Lord, Dick, if anything should happen. Nothing can happen. I'll prove it to you. Mike, get that road map off the wall. <laughs> You're a lot of help. Come here. Well, I got the map, didn't I? Now, well, let's see. Here's the hospital. We throw a ring of our department cars with their two-way radio completely encircling the hospital. If the spider ring shows up to get colder, as I expect, their car will be spotted by one of our guards and its description immediately broadcast to all the other cars. What, with so many cars following Dick, it's this? Only one of our cars will be following the spiders at a time. The others will be on roads paralleling the route. Oh, I get the idea. Then there'll be a net around the spider car all the time. And if they turn off into another road, the other cars will be immediately notified over the two-way radio, and one of them will take up the trail. In that way, no matter how often the spider's car changes its course, a different car will be following it. I guess that's a good idea, Chief. They lead us to that spider's hangout without even knowing that we're following them. That's what I hope they'll do. It's a perfect setup, Dick, but the question now is, will the spider make the attempt to get Coulter? They need those counterfeit plates. And you can bank on it. The spider will try again to force Coulter to make them. All right. I withdraw my objection. But it's against my better judgment. This is that third-degree burn case, Miss Jennings. Yes, Doctor. 
402 is all prepared. Go now, Miss Jennings. This nurse will be all the help I'll need. Very well, Doctor. Not by any chance worrying about me, are you? Why, of course not, but I am a bit anxious. Oh. The ambulance is here for Mr. Coulter. Mr. Coulter's all ready to leave. He's in room 404. Thank you. Signal. Stand by, everyone. Jackson calling. He'll be leaving any minute now. We got to stick behind all the rest of them. I'm getting tired of being last all the time. There's no use taking any chances on the spotters' men recognizing us, Mike. Then they know something was up. Here's a description of the car a white ambulance, no distinguishing mark, speed 30. Passing Kane Boulevard, Jackson. Kane Boulevard. See where that is. Here, here it is. You gonna mark where the G-Man cars are, Mr. Anderson? Sure thing, Junior. There's three of them spread out over there. Three over here. Cars. The fire's cars right between them. Mm. Just turned into Chester Boulevard. Going east. That is all. Take over. Jackson. All right, Jackson. Anderson calling Fox. Anderson calling Fox. Oh, 
Come on, Coulter. You're getting out here. Yes, it's not wise to keep the spider waiting. Radio, Mr. Anderson? We should have heard from Mr. Morris. Morris reporting. No sign of car. Going through Casper to investigate. All right, Morris. Other cars stand by for Morris report. Something's up, and I'm going to find out what it is. like to find out. Here's the ambulance that Dick Tracy and the Spider Gang have disappeared. So there's been another car here. Did any car turn out of Casper while you were watching? Yeah. A flower slide delivery car headed south. That's it. They switched ticket to that florist truck. Quick, broadcast the description of that truck to the other cars. Come on, Mike. We've got to locate that truck. Back soon as I ditch the truck. Step on it. Come on, Porter. Come on, no funny work here. Welcome, my dear Mr. Coulter. We are delighted to see you again. We're wasting time. Take Coulter to the operating room. All right, take him up. Get over there. Get over there. Now back up. Back up! I wouldn't use that telephone. Drop that gun! Mr. Coulter seems to have made a sudden and remarkable recovery. My dear Moloch, you had better examine Mr. Coulter's head. It may need a new dressing. Dick Tracy. Seems your wish has come true. Dick Tracy is here to take Mr. Coulter's place. A marvelous opportunity. Take the great Dick Tracy to the operating room. Why you that plane? Yeah, did you see a florist truck go by here? Yeah, I seen it. Went by here going lick lickety flick lickety flick it. I think he was really going. Was the truck going straight? No, he, he turned off up there on the curb by the by the old powerhouse, 90 miles an hour. It's a wonder he didn't ups, 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 ups. He might have turned over. Get the ether ready and the cones. Would you increase the heat under that sterilizer, Gordon? Gordon. Gordon. Is that my brother, Gordon Tracy? So, the great Dick Tracy did not recognize his own brother. What have you done to change him so? It was really a simple little operation on the brain. Oh, and that's what you're planning to do to me. We planned it for Coulter, but since you have taken his place, the ether! <laughs> 